Hi, I'm Phyllis from southernfrugal.com. Well, uh, tonight is when we're going to have our salad. I was going to fix it uh, after lunch, but I got busy with other things. So we're going to have that tonight. Now, I had four egg yolks left over from making the icing for the coconut cake. And so I'm using those four egg yolks plus two whole eggs. Now, I've just beat those up. So what we're going to do is make some Thai eggs that we're going to use in a salad. I know, that sounds weird, but that's what we're going to do. All right, I'm going to put a little splash of teriyaki in there. Maybe about a teaspoon. A little bit of salt, not much. A little bit of garlic powder. probably not even half a teaspoon and about the same for the onion powder. Well, that's not coming in. There. Yeah, about the same for the onion powder. And we're going to cook these in a skillet. Now I've got my heat on medium and I'm going to dump the eggs in then I'm going to immediately turn the heat down to low. So we want to just mix those up real good. And I'll show you how I'm going to serve these with the salad. Okay, all we're going to do is jump them in. Immediately turn that burner down to absolute low. And we'll just let them cook for a minute. Yeah, I, I just don't like to waste anything, and uh, certainly we needed to use the egg yolks and something, and I certainly didn't want to fix anything else sweet. So I thought we, these will go well on our salad tonight. So right now I'm waiting for Mr. Bucky to get home from the store. He decided he would go to the store for me. I was uh, looking for uh, some lemons, and I wanted to get those big kind. Now, usually, you know, I get my lemons at the farmer's market and squeeze them all out and freeze them, but I really don't have the freezer room since we've got all the smoothie stuff in there now. So I've been buying my uh, lemons at the grocery store, and I simply forgot them because I was so busy getting oranges that I forgot to get the lemons. So anyway, he went to get, get some lemons and a couple of other small things, and he should be back soon. But I want to go ahead and cook these eggs and then I'm going to flip them out in the uh, plate and cool them off because they're going to go on a salad. So they're just cooking very, very slowly. Yeah. All right, so once these get done, we'll be back. Okay, I put a lid on these eggs, and again, they're on uh, low. And I'm going to let them cook until they get a lot more firm, and then I'm going to flip them over just briefly, and hopefully they'll stay all together when I do that. But I wanted to uh, talk with y'all. I got uh, several emails in the last couple of weeks uh, asking for updates on the garden and how's the garden doing and that kind of thing. Well, we've gotten a bunch of small tomatoes. I'll show you. About two medium size and a bunch of little small ones. And uh, we're also going to have some of those small tomatoes on the salad tonight. And uh, we've gotten four cucumbers. Oh, count them. One, two, three, four. Three of them had mega wormholes in them. Uh, and so I was able to use on one of them half of one, and then the other one was small. The, the, those little green butterflies that fly around, they're the ones that lay those little eggs. And um, so anyway, we've got one now. If y'all have looked back on my videos, you know last year we had tons of cucumbers. Now, so what's wrong in the garden? I kind of gave up on it. Because first of all, when you go out there, when you go out on the deck, the mosquitoes just attack you. And I'm just, I'm just through with it. I mean, I had all the red bug bites, and I'm just not into getting any mosquito bites. So uh, anyway, Mr. Bucky went out, uh, I think Saturday, I guess it was Saturday, and picked some green beans. We did get some, not many though. And um, he also told me that the butter beans, 
were there, but they weren't filled out. And of course the cucumbers always have blooms all over them, but no cucumbers. And the tomatoes are not doing well either, and it's certainly not from lack of rain. Most of that is from lack of being uh, pollinated by bees, because I think they started spraying the uh, fields all around St. Matthews with uh, one of those crop duster planes, and so each year we've seen a dramatic decrease in the number of bees and bumblebees that would pollinate the crops. I've got to turn this. So I'm going to get it all good. Okay, I've got it turned all together. Let me show you what it looks like. Now on the Thai eggs, what they do is really cook them fast, and these are also the kind of eggs that go in uh, uh, fried rice, you, you can put it in that, and it's really the basic same recipe that you would use for like shrimp foo young or whatever, and we're using the bean sprouts and all that. But anyway, I wanted to get back to the birds now. See, it doesn't take but a second or two on that side. I'm going to dump it out in the plate, now. I'm going to let it cool, and then I'm going to cut it into little squares, and it's going to go on the salad. So, Back to the garden now. Up in Mountain Rest, there are bees. Uh, we've got clover, some wild clover up there and that kind of thing out close to the garden. There, there, there are bees everywhere. There are bumblebee, all kinds of things. Here, there's nothing. I mean, I, I think we might have seen two bumblebees, and they weren't even in the backyard. They were in the front yard. And um, no honeybees, not a single one have we seen and everything's got all kinds of blooms on it. So, um, I mean, it, for the number of blooms that we had on the green beans, we should have had a couple of bushels, probably, of green beans, but they just didn't get pollinated. And I guess the ones that did got pollinated by accident. And uh, it's kind of disheartening, too. So, as far as update on the garden, there probably isn't going to be one, because I'm not willing to go out there and uh, uh, of course, Mr. Bucky could go out there, but he doesn't like to use the camera, so there you have it. So we are, you know, hopeful on a fall garden up in Mountain Rest. All right, still waiting for Mr. Bucky. All right, we'll be back in a little while and fix that salad. Okay, we're going to make the salad dressing for our salad tonight, and I'm going to use, this is a small bottle of Duke's mayonnaise, and it's probably got about maybe two possibly three tablespoons of mayonnaise in it, so I'm going to mix it right in this little jar. And to this, I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of Dijon mustard, the, the one with the uh, Chardonnay in it. And I'm going to add a little bit of paprika, maybe half a teaspoon. And I'm going to add a couple of teaspoons of dill weed, just because I love it. I mean, I just absolutely love it. It's not coming out very well, so I'm just going to use a spoon. Get that out. Now, I just love the taste of it when I'm using uh, any kind of fish or whatever. All right, and I'm going to use, that's probably a good half teaspoon of garlic powder, and we're going to pour in a little bit of vinegar, probably a good tablespoon, and then let's see what else we need. Probably going to need a little bit of sweetener, so I'm just going to pump in a little bit of honey, just a little bit, kind of counteract the vinegar. Okay, I think Mr. Bucky's coming home because the dogs are barking. So, we'll just mix that up right in the little mayonnaise jar. Oh, smells good. Okay, all right. So we're going to uh, put the lid back on this, shake it up real good, and put it back in the refrigerator. Yeah, I just looked out the window. That's Mr. Bucky. So we'll be fixing the rest of this salad soon. I'm just going to shake that up. And I don't know 
know if you can see it or not, but that works out pretty good. Just a little uh, Duke's mayonnaise. I think this is one we brought back in the cooler from Mountain Rest because I always buy the small Duke's mayonnaise for up there. All right, so we'll be back in just a minute. Okay, we are ready to put this salad together. There are the Thai eggs, and I cut them up into squares, and I wanted you to see see how thick they are and they're just you know they're really at room temperature at this point all right so I've also got some sweet potatoes now this was leftover sweet potato from a smoothie I'm just gonna put a little salt on those I've already salted the avocado put a little salt on the little cucumbers and that's it all right so we're ready to start loading this up I think I'm gonna put the cucumbers on first now I'm serving this in my cake pans just because we're going to be eating in front of the TV and it's just more convenient. I used to have some um, pottery pie plates that were about the size that I used for salads a lot and I got all carried away and sold them at a garage sale which was not good. Okay so I'm going to go ahead and put the sweet potatoes on now. Now we're using these sweet potatoes of course as a vegetable. They're not going to be but a little bit sweet, but I think they look really good in the salad, plus they're very good for you. So I'm just going to throw some of those in. Now I've just cut my little small tomatoes in half. I'm going to put those on. I've already got our tea fixed, so we're going to be about ready to eat in just a minute here. All right, there's that. Now, let's go ahead and put the Thai eggs on. Makes a really pretty salad, that's for sure. These eggs are good when that um, salad dressing is on them, too. For what reason, I'm not sure, but they are. All right, so now we've got a few little avocados. Just kind of scatter them about a little bit. And now my plan was to also put some cashews on here, but I think I've changed my mind. I don't think I'm going to use the cashews on here. All right, so now we're ready to dribble some of this dressing over it. Don't want much, but just a little bit. Mr. Bucky's in there trying to find us a movie to watch tonight. And I'll have to tell you, it's getting harder and harder to find a good movie anymore. I mean, everything is this futuristic stuff. And, you know, last year it was all about werewolves. And I don't know. All right, I think I am going to use cashews. Maybe just a few. Sprinkled around. Definitely more cashews. Okay, there it is. So now all we need are a few little club crackers on the side. Look right there. And right over here. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, we are ready to eat. All right, let me take this off and give you a close up. Now, the uh, sweet potatoes, of course, are not going to taste sweet. Sorry, I had to turn that little thing around. Of course, we've got our iced tea and our forks and napkins. So we're going to go sit in front of the TV and have our little salad. It'll take us a while to eat this, but the, uh, we've got spinach and iceberg lettuce is the base underneath. All right, so there it is. All right, we will see you all next time.